Hello, it is Seed and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we started off the Forest Temple and got like a third of the way through, got a little lost, but now we're back on track, and this time we're going to continue it in part 22, so that's awesome. As you can see with this ROM, this uh, this isn't originally how it's supposed to be with this, um, you know, this like little thing. Oh, I can get it. Oh, wait, I can't. I don't have the uh, item yet. We're about to go and get ourselves the uh, item for this dungeon, so... As you can see, we're gonna have to do something involving these paint paintings, but it's usually just a black, um, you know, painting in the original game. But since I'm playing on the emulator, and this ROM has a certain problem to where it just appears as a, um, oh, this one appears fine, but the other one up there apparently doesn't appear fine, or something like that. So whatever, like that one right there, I just showed you. I never do it right for my life. What the heck is wrong with me? I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna take out to take care of this uh, enemy right here. So slice him up. Come on. Take you down. Yes, nice. Now that we got that one out of the way, we have a second one that's coming on right now. And uh there was two more, my bad, I forgot about that. Take on three, baby. Okay. Oh Jesus, the lag! Jesus, it's probably gonna be. I do remember this is probably like the most part of the time in the game where it has lag. I'm about to die. Slide jump! Come on, I gotta make sure I don't get hit one more time. No! Oh, okay. Oh. oh! This is so intense right now. There we go. Oh my god. I would have died right there. I do have a fairy, but I don't wanna waste it yet. So, um. Let's go and get this item right here before we die. That'd be nice. Come on. Okay, there. Nice. And with this, we're going to get ourselves the item for this dungeon, like each, or this temple, I mean, it's all the temples. Okay, we got <laughs> the fairy bow. The fairy bow is an item we can now use where you can shoot arrows. It's like, pretty much like the hook shot, but it's like more consistent, but you can't latch onto things. It's still nice, though. I will show it off right now, if I can, when it comes with a complimentary 30 arrows. So that's nice. Okay, get it out right here, and uh, didn't mean to get out that. And we got out this, and I can like shoot an arrow if I want to. So, boop, nice. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves two hearts right here. Come on, yes. All right. Okay, got another two more right here. Okay. Which way can I go? I'll take this way. I think this is like a new area, I believe. So, get rid of that. Put this in here. Come on. It's just arrows. Okay. So, uh, alright. Side jump. Ah! Take care of this enemy right here. Or, uh, what you gotta do, I mean, not an enemy. What you gotta do, there, um, the ghost that we need to collect is trapped in these paintings, and basically you gotta, like, you know, hit them when they're at, their, at the paintings, but you have to make sure you don't get too close, because if they, they notice that you're looking at them too close, they will disappear and you have to go and find them in another painting, which is not that difficult, but it's just, it just takes a little time if you uh, mess up. But uh, okay, got that right there. Is there another one? I don't think so. It's right there. And since this is the last painting, he can't escape, so we're just he's just stuck there. So it's pretty cool. All right, and now he's gonna go down there. Get back here. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Now we're gonna have to fight him, and uh, you know, wait for when he has, he's vulnerable. We're gonna want to use our bow and arrow on him when he's uh, most vulnerable, when he's also appearing, so we can't get him just yet. There we go. It's gonna be a little time consuming, I bet. Come on, stop it. It's a little difficult considering I'm using the uh, D-pad in order for the uh, C-sticks instead, as you can see at the top right hand corner of the screen. But uh, you know what I mean, so. Okay. There we go. Two more, I think, and we'll be gone. What the heck am I doing with my life? I don't know. Okay. Nice. One more and I'll do it for him. Okay, come on. Come on, baby, it's twirl for me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, it's gonna offend a lot of people, but anyway, okay, there we go. Nice, and with that, we get ourselves arrows again! Yay! Yippee! Okay. That gives ourselves another treasure chest, which is gonna be the compass. So let's go and get the compass. I have to do that every freaking time, it's so stupid. Like, what's wrong with me? I don't know. You got the compass! Oh my god, I'm terrible. I gotta stop that, really. Oh well, and now that we have that, I can be less confusing because now I can see which areas I need to go into, so... Alright. Okay. 
I don't want to go through that door just yet. I want to go get the other, uh, you know, ghost that was in the uh, previous uh, set of staircases. So I'm going to go through there to get to it. Okay. Oh, God, my nose is itching. What the heck? What the heck is wrong my nose? Anyway. All right. So I'm going to climb up here. Where is he? Can I get him from right here? He's, like, kind of glitched out. Get him. Come on. Can I hit you from right here? What the heck? Oh, that wasn't it. My bad. Freaking hack. I mean, the freaking ROM failures fail me again. How ridiculous they are. Okay. Pew! That's one. I go up here. I think it's going to spawn right there. No, it's not, apparently. Okay. I'm going to have to go back down here. Wait, I got to spawn in that one. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god. Is he not gonna get hit or something like that? Come on. There we go. Okay. Jesus. Only took like five arrows. Let's get the last one. Boom. Sweet. Okay. Cracking my uh, ankles. Probably not healthy, but I don't care. Anyway. If you couldn't hear that on now. I have a problem with like cracking my knuckles and my wrists and my neck a lot. I hear like people, the old people used to say like, oh, it's gonna give you arthritis when you're older, even though it's been proven that it's not, it doesn't do that because I'm just doing that with my wrist. It will get freaked out when I do that. It's like, oh my God, that sounds so gross. I don't know if it's like a double jointedness or something like that. Definitely not a triple joint, but maybe like a double jointedness, something going on with my hands or something like that in my wrists, but in my arms or something like that, I don't know. Feels nice though. Just relieving all that tension. But yeah. Come on. Control again. Gotta wait for when he stops. One more and it'll do it for him. Come on. Twirl. There we go. Nice. And that gives us two of the, the four ghosts taken care of. And we only got one more and then we can just go to the uh, main entrance of the place and then the last one will spawn. So it's good. All right, so I think there's gonna be a key right here. Am I right? Yes, it is. Nice, I need the key, so that's good. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to this area and then go and collect the, uh, go to the do to the locked up door, which was up here, which we had to go back and collect one more key to get it. So, yeah. I was unaware of the fact that I was out of keys, honestly, and then I noticed we uh, were out of keys right when I collected my the key we just got, so that was lucky. I got lucky right there. Watch for the shadows of the monsters that hang from the ceiling. He's already said this, but okay. Okay, he's gonna spawn. Okay. There we go. Nice. Ooh, red rupee and two blue rupees. That's nice. Sweet. I think a blue rupee is worth like five or so. I don't know. Freaking, I love this game. I don't know how much a blue rupee is worth. To be fair, in my defense, like they do change throughout every game. They not all of them are worth the same, honestly. But uh, you know what I mean. So uh, what the heck am I doing? Okay. Um, this is gonna be a locked door, which I cannot get to just yet. Hmm. Oh, I think I remember what I did wrong. I have to, uh, I think I need to go back to the uh, main room or to another room and get one last key. Or go back and, uh, you know, get a, um, switch the door um, for that one area where we had to use the block, uh, get the, um, and we stopped at that eye switch at the top because we didn't have our arrows yet. So now that we got it, we can go and take care of that to help us get our last key. So let's go do that, shall we? Okay. Speed up the process a bit. You know what the heck? I can't grab onto the ledge like that. I yeah, just do like freaking parkour stuff, but going upwards. Well, uh, it's gonna be over here, I believe so. Woo! Anyway, all right. So what I'm gonna do now? Is I'm gonna take care of your bull crap. Actually, I think I can do it from this distance. I don't think he'll come near me. I'm gonna get it right here. Go down slightly. A little bit more. There we go. Nice. And with that, it's going to uh, switch up the twisty room. Or the swirly room, I don't know. 
called the twisty room, my god. And now we can go and get ourselves a new entrance way in order to get to a last key. So which I'll show you right here, since it untwisted and made it straight in here, it uh, completely lopsided it in this area. So now that we can get to the, um, as you can see, this is actually the chest for the, uh, the boss key, which as you can see, it was up there on this wall. But now that we twist the room, it's right here on the ground. So that's pretty cool. Very clever design, I will say that. Good one on you, Nintendo, for designing that. Pretty cool. Or me and my brothers are responsible, like the team that made it. So yeah. Boss key. Now that we can fight the boss, but the boss is still located downstairs, and we have to get to downstairs by getting, oh my god, I almost got taken by that freaking uh, hand grabber thing. So, as I was saying, we have to get the last two ghosts. Yeah, that would have been really frustrating if I just would have flat out. Just got taken outside again, because I was too distracted explaining things to you guys. So, you know. Okay. <coughs> my voice is a little harsh. <coughs> Sorry about that. I make sure to drink a bunch of water before I record these, to be honest with you, but apparently it doesn't help that much or something like that. Since I've been talking for like 25 minutes straight, it trains my voice a bit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Alright, so, I'm crazy. Uh, take care of see what I can do over here. Oh, this is just the entrance back. My bad, I got a little confused. These, these walls, okay, I will say this design is really, like, generic and, like, repetitive of color, so it gets a little confusing at times. It's like a little weird camouflage thing going on, so. It's an area we gotta take care of this hand grabber. There we go. Oh god, I gotta take care of all three of you. You wanna slash right here and get them all three before they go back together. Come on. It's like a similar to a Twilight Princess boss we'll be going. If I ever do a Let's Play of that game, I'll show you. But uh, okay, so we got those, all those three. I can't speak properly again, what the heck. So I got all of those three. And now I can uh, get open this treasure chest right here. Get ourselves the next key. Boom, baby. Sound like freaking Cusco from Emperor's New Groove, my god. He's like, boom, baby. Uh, I love that movie growing up. I did. And I remember the uh, the old guy who threw off his groove. He's like, you threw off my groove. And he's like, sorry. And he just throws him off the ledge. <laughs> Throw him out the window to his death. Survives. His freaking badass grandpa. Badass grandpa. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So now we got that out of the way. We're going to uh, climb our way back up to here. Okay, we're going to want to go back to that area with the door. Oh my god, it takes forever to get to places in this dumb temple. Like, really? Okay. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Now that we got that. I'm going to take care of it right here. Again. Um... Turn it straight ways again. We're doing that, we'll now be able to go back to that entryway. So that's pretty cool. Go away! Oh my god. Ah! Okay. Alrighty. Now that we got that, we're gonna go through here. I guess I'll just uh, speed up a little bit. Anyway. Don't want to waste your guys' time. I mean, I know very interesting what I'm saying. Oh my god. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrible when it comes to the temples. I really am. <laughs> Wasting time and shit. So, um... But yeah, there's the entryway. So I'm gonna see if I can roll to it. Boom! Oh, I couldn't make it, but anyway. Okay. And there's the doorway with the key. Sweet. I might end off the episode after this. Just go through here and get the uh, key inside here. Now that we got this, what you're originally supposed to do is you're supposed to get your bow and arrow and get that uh, torch right there and, uh, you know, hit the ice block eye right so that you can um, make it go down. But instead, I'm going to be a little bit, uh, you know, a little uh, freaking amateurish and I'm going to use, for once, I'm going to show off this uh, cool ability that the Great Fairy gave us. So let's do it with Din's Fire. Looks awesome. It really does, honestly. It's like any, you know, like frozen ice, so that's pretty cool. And with that, it switches it back up. We're gonna go take our way back here. We're gonna ride the merry-go-round of nightmares and torture. Yeah, if you touch that uh, water, you will, uh, you know, get hurt. So yeah, I don't wanna point that out, so. Don't wanna touch that, do we? Okay. All right. 
And I think that's pretty much about a good place we can end it off here. So next time on Let's Play The Legends of the Ocarina of Time, we are going to definitely finish off the Forest Temple, which we're about to be done with. We just got like about, just get the last two Poached Souls, or the Ghosts, I mean, I think they're called Poached Souls. Oh well, but just get rid, of, get rid of the last two Ghosts, and then we'll finally be able to go down to the bottom floor and then fight the boss of this dungeon, or this temple, I mean. So thank you all so much for watching. I've been Seether Cord, and I'll see you guys next time. So goodbye, everyone. Look at the merry-go-round of death.